Thank you, Mary. Um, and good evening, everybody, and good day to other people around the world. Um, I hope that you all are using the tips that I give you all. Um, I know that we haven't had too many of these sessions. I'm just I'm just keeping a track of who's using what on the what on the Zoom call, and especially those who are using your phones in particular. That that you all keep on doing all of these things. Yes, Lorraine, I can see your thumbs up. Very good, but. We'll, so I'm not going to do a refresher on the phone again. You know, we've already covered that. We will. I will put up all of these videos that, that I'm doing for you all on YouTube as well, so it's accessible. What I want to focus on today are just a couple of things on the phone, and then we're going to do a little refresher course for using um, Zoom on the laptop. So having these Magic, Magic, uh, Magic Monday sessions on the laptop itself. So I want to start off by one thing which I realized I didn't cover in our session when using the phone, uh, when using Zoom on the phone. Now, all of y'all who are using, or who are logging into Magic Monday right now on your phone, I would assume that a lot of you are keeping your phone upright like this while you're actually on Zoom, right? Now, that's perfectly fine and well to do because, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't need to move, you know, sideways or anything like that. But what I realized was when we were doing one of our um, brain teaser sessions, that you couldn't see what was on the screen. And obviously some of you all using the phone wouldn't be able to. So what I would tell you all to do, and this is extremely simple. You all don't, you're literally, you don't have to do anything aside from, instead of keeping the phone this way, just turn it on its side like this. Now, for those of you all on your phone, not on your laptop and not on tablets or anything like that, anybody who's using the phone right now, try this. What it will do is that it will spread out the whoever speaking so you'll see my face and my whole screen a little bit bigger across the phone right so what this does is that now anything that i share with you all which i'm going to show you an example uh will actually be a little more readable than what you would have thought uh, was available before right so i'm just going to very quickly share my screen so you can see what i'm talking about and like i said this actually came up during our uh, brain teaser session for this particular thing on women's day Right. I, I had shared this screen and some of you all weren't able to read the words. Now, it's still not going to be very readable because it's 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 obviously still going to be small because it's on your phone, but it hopefully is a little bit better than it was before. Now, I would suggest that if anybody's using the uh, uh, anybody's logging into the Magic Monday session on your phone, always. Every time you log in, once you've logged in, once you're on the session, once you've uh, set up your audio and everything, just keep the phone like this and keep it down or, or hold on to it like this, right? Only because it's much more clearer. Everything that you're reading is much more clearer. Your pe the people that you're seeing, it's not a smaller face, it's a slightly bigger face, right? So this just makes things a little bit more easier for everybody involved. That's one tip in particular. Now. There's a couple of, there's one more thing which I want to also touch base. Now this goes a handoff between the phone to the laptop or to, or to a tablet as well. Now we get our Magic Monday invites how on WhatsApp, right? Belinda is very studious about sending it on the, on the Monday morning. The invite, the link, um, the, the, uh, the uh, details about what we need, if there's anything that you need to keep out, all of that comes on our WhatsApp. Now, obviously, our WhatsApp is on our phone, right? However, there is a way that you can actually have your WhatsApp available on your laptop. Okay, now I'm going to show you all. I'm, I'm basically, I'm just going to share a video. I'm going to be talking at the same time. That video doesn't have any sound on it. But it's going to give you the idea of what you can do or of how you can actually use your WhatsApp on your phone. I'm, I'm not, I, I know this is going to be a little bit quick. But don't worry, like I said, all of this is, is going to be available in um, on YouTube. I should have it up uh, maybe tomorrow or day after. Okay, so that's the first one. Let me get this. Okay, now, so this is what your WhatsApp screen looks like. You'll have to forgive me. I blurred out because there's a lot of work that I do on WhatsApp. So all my messages are, are blurred. But this is ideally on your phone what your WhatsApp screen looks like. Right? You have the title on top. You have the different chats and everything. Now, in order for you to set up your WhatsApp on your laptop, you have to start from the phone. Okay, so when you start from the phone, and we check when you click on the three dots at the at the top right over here, okay, 
you get an you sorry you get something that says linked devices okay so the third one over here says linked devices i'm going to go straight through if you're not getting these options i will deal with you all one on one you can let me know later but as of now ideally this is the message, uh, this is the setting that you'll get so once you click on linked devices you get this screen that pops up now on this screen the the button that says link a device you'll have to click on that okay don't worry about this this is a security setting i have on my phone and this is the screen of what the phone would look like right now right so now this you'll see it's a camera with a box in the middle now why this box is there is because now you have to go to your laptop so on your laptop in the when you open up a new tab you'll have to type in a website address right so this is the the address that you need to type right don't worry about writing it down now like i said available later right so once you type in this address now if you're newly joining in or if you're newly setting up uh, whatsapp on your laptop this is the screen that you will get right you get a list of directions plus you get this crazy looking box on the right hand side right with the whatsapp symbol in between uh this is what you need to take your phone now okay and then you're going to focus your that that box in with uh, with the crazy looking box in the middle over here right and immediately it starts setting up your whatsapp on on the laptop so you don't have to do anything else at this point this is literally the final step because once once that's done it says it's loading your chats so it's it's going to be connecting to the server doing a lot of things on the back end getting getting things across and now this is your whatsapp on your laptop it's literally that simple now again it's blurred out over here so you don't see my messages but you can see like you know i'll click i've clicked on the super seniors group and i've gotten all the messages over here right i've clicked on the memory uh, cafe south core group and there you go the messages are here right so it's as simple as this there's nothing more that's required um it's it's um it's so easy and so simple to do that now the the joy that it gives us is that now instead of necessarily using our phone for connecting to memory uh, for the magic monday now i can do that on the laptop okay so continuing on from there now that we've set up whatsapp on the laptop right so you have your magic monday group on top of here where you get the invite right so this is what belinda sends out every week on monday morning and this is the link right so it's the same thing you click on the link over here and normally on um um zoom on the laptop it's it's kind of a two step process so it sometimes opens up another screen over here that says launch meeting and then once you click on open zoom meetings then it starts setting up your zoom call now it's the same thing what it does on the laptop as it does in your phone right it configures it starts configuring everything it it starts getting your video in place it starts getting your audio in place right so you can you, well, you get this screen that says join with computer audio on the phone if you remember some it says wifi or cellular data right so it's the same it's the same process you just have to click on join with computer audio and it starts off your meeting right now if you look at the screen uh, don't worry you'll be able to see me looking at myself very soon um uh, i'm just uh, setting up things but overall everything all of the options that you're seeing right now are the same things that are available on your phone there's a couple of things which may be extra which you don't have to worry about right as participants you don't have to worry about but it's it's just what from from the perspective of everything else that you normally use it's all all of this is available as you can see my basic black still still functions so yes i am i'm basic black every day um so on the bottom left corner this is where you have your video options right so you saw when you click on start and stop video right so it starts and stops your own video right and there's a small arrow right next to it over here is where you have your backgrounds right remember we had a little fun with all the different backgrounds that uh, that we were doing from the phone and obviously you can do the same thing from the laptop so i just clicked on blur my background so as you can see everything behind uh, the picture of me on the right is all blurred okay or assuming that i say that i want to choose a virtual background so you click on choose virtual background and you have options which are already available on uh, whatsapp this is in fact uh, sorry on zoom this is in fact already available uh, the beach side with the with the waves and then the northern lights these are things which are standard this one is what i had added for our christmas segment but i'll show you how to add right so if you click on the plus sign and click on add image and over here then you'll get you can choose like you know you want you want to set up a particular image 
you want to set up your family, you want to set up a, um, you know, a, a nice green area, you want to set up whatever you want, you want to set up your pets in the background, you know, you can add any of those. Right, so I'm just selecting an image, as you can see, it comes up. And that's it. And that's my background. All right, let me close that. Okay, there you go. So you can see this is any background that you want to select. So it feels like you're um, that you're in an open nature reserve. Uh, okay, I'm just going to clear the virtual background so that it's it's easier for me to get that. Okay, now moving on. This is your mute and unmute. It's just like I said, same thing that you have on your phone as well. Right? This is where you mute yourself and unmute yourself. Right? Uh, don't worry about the rest of the options in here. Literally, that's uh, unless required. You don't. I'm, I don't. I don't want to touch upon those things. Uh, a couple of additional things. There are. There's a participants bar which actually shows you the list of participants. There's, um, you know, uh, this, there's obviously the the chat now. Uh, sorry, just one other thing about the participants bar is that you know you'll be able to see the list of participants. You'll also be able to chat with them, which is what I'm going to be covering right now. Right. And again, it's the same thing what you had on your phone when you would press that chat button you have this box that opens up. So now you can see either chat to everyone and this message will go to everybody as a general chat or depending on whoever's, uh, whoever's in the Zoom call, you can select that one person and say and type a message to them and that message will only go to them and they, they can respond. Okay, so that's how you use the chat functionality from Zoom itself, right? Share screen, record, show captions are not something that you guys need to worry about right now. Um, that's in the next step, assuming that there's something that we will be doing with that, then I'll be able to show you all how that works. But this one is the fun one. Do you remember the reactions that we had on the on the phone? They're literally the same ones available right over here. So, you know, you can uh, applaud, so you don't have to unmute yourself to actually show the uh, uh, clap hands. You can applaud like that. You can, you're basically rolling on the floor laughing. That's what this icon is. Right. Um, again, uh, this one, I, I'm, I'm, like I said, I was supposed to be tracking all of y'all. I didn't, but I am going to be making sure to track all of y'all now again. Okay. When you have something to say, you raise your hand, like how I just clicked on right now, raise your hand and your hand stays raised until either you lower it or the host lowers it. Okay. So remember, if you have something to say, that is how you have to say it. There's an additional thing which is here, which is also available on the phone, but I don't like it on the phone because it's not very um, it, it, it's not very easy to use. But Zoom can recognize your own hand gestures as well, right? So if if you click on the option, or if you click on the arrow, click on recognize hand gestures and just make sure that it's ticked. So now what will happen? I raise my hand. You see at the bottom over here, that blue circle comes and it raises the hand automatically. Right. And if I click on lower hand and there's another one, which is a thumbs up. So again, I'll just do a thumbs up and it has to be a little bit clear. So a little bit away from your face. So the system can recognize it and then it will automatically do the thumbs up on top. Cool. Now, those are the very basic functionalities that are available on Zoom um, for any kind of, you know, for the Magic Monday or for any other things that, that you're doing. And um, that pretty much covers what I wanted to cover for this particular thing. Uh, I, Mary, if it's okay, like for a couple of questions, if anybody has, or do we have time for maybe, I'll just take two questions. I don't want to take more than that because I know that we have a bunch of other things to do after this. You can unmute yourself or no, no, don't unmute yourself. Raise your hand first and then I will answer you. If you have a question, if you don't have a question, it's fine. But like I said, all of these, I'll be putting up this as well as our previous video up on YouTube. So if you have anything, if you have anything, uh, if you have any questions in particular, you can also WhatsApp me. You can message me and ask. And I see Fatima G has a question and I am going to ask to unmute and please start your video. also. there you okay. go. Yeah. So I want to know the background, right? Mm -hmm. You said the, uh, the, uh, the video, okay. Click on the video. Then I click on choose virtual background, mm -hmm. but in the background, it says only none. Virtual background, it says none. It says, sorry, what, what, what's the word that says? None. None. So <laughs> hang on, let me share the screen again. Uh, one second. So when you go to the virtual background, sorry, one second. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, now, do you get a screen that looks like this? Sure, let me see one second. So because there's none over here. Yeah. Right? But, but then. Have, yeah. Yeah, but, but I don't have any. I, th I think mine was not pre whatever. You no, so see. what you might need to do is that uh -huh. on uh, you may need to look at upgrading Zoom on the laptop because what happens is that if it's an older version, sometimes oh, some okay. options won't be available. <laughs> I right? see. So we can figure out that if you need to upgrade Zoom, then that's a different thing, which I can get. It, I, I'll, I'll get in touch with you later so that we can figure out if we can uh, uh, how to uh, do the upgrade. Upgrade. Okay, sure. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Excellent. One second. Did I stop sharing? No. Okay, fine. Yes, Olivia, please ask your question. You have to unmute yourself. Yeah. I, I had the same question because when I did that, mm -hmm. it's, it, it has blur and none. And how do I get the images? So if it has blur or none, now ideally, okay, leave aside the free images because I'll, I'll be upfront with you. I never used any of the free images only because I, um, uh, I'm weird that way. Uh, I normally use my own because I usually put my cats in the background. I put something else in the background. So yeah. instead of using the instead of worrying about the free images, what you what you're better <laughs> off doing is adding an image, right? So if you if you click on the uh, uh, if you know as I mentioned oh, okay. when you click on this plus sign, and yes. when um, when you say add image or add video also you can even add videos going on in the background, right? So when you click on that, then you put you bring up your own images, right? Then you can choose and select if you know if there's any other image that you want to add, just take it from there. Okay. Oh, thank you. That's what I wanted to know if I could add my own image. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes, oh. that's possible. Oh, okay. okay, okay. Thank you. Okay, I'll take okay. one more question from Wilma right now. And uh, sorry, who's uh, who's this on the phone? Charles. Charles. Charles oh, sorry. Hi. I'll take. Okay, I'll take a question from you, Charles, and then we'll move on from there. I'm the husband of uh, Wilma. I, 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 sorry, I just go by the names. I, I, you have to forgive me. I'm not like Sheldon. He remembers all the names. I don't remember any names. What happens, you know, I, I type first in a Zoom meeting, I put Vilma de Silva. So I wanted to put a stroke, Vilma stroke Charles. So I have asked Lorraine, but uh, I could not figure out how to do it. Uh, so basically, uh, just just for your name to come uh, to, so that it'll show that Charles, Vilma slash Charles, right? Yeah, you, you call Vilma, no, ladies, ladies. So, <laughs> okay. stroke Charles. I'll, you know what, uh, Charles, if um, message me on WhatsApp, so then I'll show you because I don't have and, and I can't share the screen now to show you how to do that. But okay. I will talk you through it uh, through WhatsApp and then you'll be able to change the name. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah? yeah, thanks. Thank Great. You. Okay. Okay, everyone. Um, like I said, you know, we have a couple of things to move on to. So thank you for your time. Thank you for the questions. Uh, if there's anything that um, else that you want to ask, you know, tech related, you can let me know. And um, yeah, and um, I'll try to get these videos up on YouTube in the next couple of days time. So you'll have this as a basis and I'll try to put a few more so that it becomes a little more of a refresher for everyone.